Hello everyone, welcome back to the gaming flow and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix War Thunder. The game is having crashing issue, it is not launching, won't launch or having freezing and stuttering, stuck on loading screen, low FPS drop, even black screen for many of the users and how you can fix these steps or how you can fix this issue. So just follow these instructions that's going to definitely help you guys out. The first one is all about you have to start with a simple restart and that's what you have to do. For doing a simple restart you just need to go over here, click on this one, you have to find the game, okay the game is here, okay. Now from here you just need to go over here, click on this one, go for this one and go for the restart. So restart is a mandatory when it not only for War Thunder you can try with a restart for every single game when they started behaving unexpectedly and they're having these kind of errors because simple restart is actually a solution to many problems you can start with a simple restart. If that is not working we have to move to the next step that is all about we have to verify integrity of game file. For this we just need to go over here in the game right click and go to properties. Now from here go to install it files. There is an option called verify integrity of game file. So if you click on this one what happens is this will be cross checking every single files of a game and they will be cross checking if any files are corrupted and they will be cross checking from there and if any files are having missing or they are corrupted and these kind of troubles. If any files missing you will be having the trouble at the same time if any files are corrupted you will be having a lot of trouble. So they're going to help you guys out to fix this particular issue. So you can try with if any files are corrupted as well as if any files are missing. We can try with this. So it's going to take a little bit of time because the game is around 48 GB. So we are in the middle of shooting. So I'm going to skip this up. But you have to wait unless it gets completed. And once it's done with this, you can launch the game and see whether the issue is solved or not. After trying with this one, if the issue is still persisting, we have to move to the next one. That is, instead of launch the game from Steam, try launch the game from the installation folder. And this did work for many users, so you can try this out as well. Launch the game from the installation folder, not from the Steam. For launch the game, we have two methods. One, there is a shortcut from Steam. Another one, we can navigate to using the file explorer. So I'll be showing you both. So first click over here in the game, right click and go to properties. Now from here, go to install it files over here and go to browse. Now, as you can see, just close this and you can see that you will be getting a folder like this where this PC, local C, program file x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, War Thunder. So this is the game. So you can launch the game from here. You can launch the War, War Thunder from here and you can check whether the issue is solved or not. But in most cases, when we launch the game from the over here in this one, the issue has to be fixed because sometimes Steam is causing the trouble. So that's why we are launching the game from the installation folder. But sometimes this won't even fix. So we can try two more steps from the same installation folder. That's, going, uh, that's why I'm going to show you this. The next step is all about we need to run the game as an administrator. So hence we are in the installation folder. You can just click on the application over here, right click and go to show more options, properties, go to compatibility. Now from here go to run this, pro sorry, run this program as an administrator, go for apply and go for ok and try launch the game and this is what you have to do. So sometimes this also fix the issue, you can try with launch the game from the installation folder. That is also going to fix you guys out so you can try with this. Next one is all about we can try with running the game in the compatibility mode. This did work out for many users as well. For this we just need to go over here in this icon, right click and go to show more options, go to properties, go to compatibility. Now from here you can see there is a compatibility mode. Select this one that's called run this program in compatibility mode. First set is to Windows 7. Set this to Windows 7. Go for apply and go for ok. If Windows 7 is not working, you can set this to Windows 8. Go for apply and go for ok and see whether the issue is solved or not. This is going to work for you as well. In most cases, this did work it. So also keep in mind, so we have done around three steps here. But if you're proceeding to the next one, even after trying all these things, still not working. But I request you can make one change over here. You can go to the properties and undo this particular steps in the compatibility mode. Keep rest steps that is run this program as an administrator and move to the next step. 
Next step is nothing but we need to make sure the Windows language is set into English. So most users across the globe, some users end up in using the Windows language in their native language, for example, like Chinese, Japanese, Arabic, which can cause the issue up. So we don't know. So we have we do we cannot take any risk. So for this, just go over here in the search, go for settings. Now from here, go to time and language. Now go for language and region. Now from here, you have to click on add language and search for English. If you're in any other native language, you can search for English and set the language in English. And once after that, go back, go to the date and time, make sure the time and time zone is turn it on. You should not be turning this on. You have to make sure the time and time zone should be turned on. Once you close this and go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about you can try with launch the game using alt and tab. So just click on the play button. But keep in mind you can try with launching the game. But by clicking on the play button, you have to press alt and tab from the keyboard. Just press alt and tab from the keyboard. This did work it for many users, so you can try this out. Press Alt and Tab from the keyboard while launching the game while you're hitting on the play button, which is green. So that might work. But in my case, in my personal knowledge, this did work it for games. For me, this did work it for games like you know Dead Space, and it did work it for uh, you know Star Wars. It worked it for me, so we can try with this. Next one is all about. We can try with the next step. That is all about. We need to delete the saved game file. For this, we just need to go over here in the file explorer over here, go to this PC and go to documents and you will be finding the folder and you'll be having the folder named War Thunder if you're trying to play the game and saving each progressions. So you can delete the respective folder and keep in mind you will be losing all the saved game files but that is fine but that is that did work it for few users so you can try this out as well. Next one is all about nothing but we have to allow the game to Windows security. For this reason, we have to go over here in the search and search for control panel here. Go for control panel and click on this one. Now go for system and security and go for Windows Defender Firewall. Now go to allow and import feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now keep scrolling down and navigate to W. And over here you will be able to find War Thunder. So over here in the W you can see the War Thunder is already added. Make sure the private and public should be checked. This is an important step. So if it's not add, you can add it by default. Just click on the change settings and go for allow another app. Go for browse. Now from here, go to this PC, go to local disk C, go to program file x86, go to Steam, go to Steam apps over here. Now from here, go to common. Now from here, go to War Thunder. Now from here, we have to find the launcher and you have to open it and go for add. I'll be getting the error because it's already added. So once you add it, you can try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but we have to unplug all the USB devices. So you might be connected with many things like mouse, joystick, Logitech wheels, any other hotas, etc. So you have to remove everything from the game, launch the game. Once the game is successfully launched, just connect back the mouse, even controller if you wanted to continue the game with these controllers. So once after that, you can check this worked for few users. I found this from Reddit, so you can try this out. Next one is all about you, what you need to do is we, just, we need to disable the steam overlay. For this we just need to go over here right click and go to properties. Now from here you can check this has to be turned off. You have to turn this off and try launching the game. If this is not working we have to move to the next one that is nothing but we have to go for launch options here. So the first command is DX11. You can try with DX11 and launch the game. If DX11 is not working. We can go over here and type this DX12. Try with DX11 or either DX12. Any one of the thing has to be worked. So either go for DX11 or DX12 and most probably that's going to help you guys out as well. So try launching the game. Next one is all about we can try with the next step that is all about. We need to run the game on dedicated graphics card. For this we just need to go over here in the search. Go for graphics settings. Now from here you can see they have already added the game same way we need to add the game so just click on the browse. Now from here we need to go to this PC, go to local disk C, go to program file x86, keep scrolling down go to steam, go to steam apps, go to common. Now from here go to war thunder. So you have to select the launcher and add it. So now it's added but we need to make few more changes that you just need to click on the option and set the performance from let windows decide to high performance and go for save. Save this and try launch the game and that's going to work for you as well. 
because when we are launching the game this will be utilized in the maximum performance so you will not be having any kind of crashing issue so just close this and go back and see whether the issue is solved if it's not working we have to try with the next one that is all about we need to increase the virtual memory for this reason we have to go over here in the search go for view advanced system settings go to advanced go for settings go to advanced once again go for change and over here as you can see this has you have to select the local disk where the game is installed and in my case it is C but you have to make sure this is unchecked and go for custom size give the value for initial size and maximum size initial size is 1.5 times the total RAM and maximum size is 3 times the total RAM go over here in the search go for calculator so type your RAM so my RAM is 32 GB so I have to multiply this with 1024 that brings you this and multiply with 1.5 that brings you this as well go for 49152 so just paste it next one is all about you have to try with 32 GB into 1024 and multiply this with 3 that brings you 98304 and you have to copy this and paste it as well Clear. set this up a restart is a mandatory and try launch the game if that's not working next one is all about we need to update the windows for this just go over here in the search go for settings over here go to windows update update the windows to the latest version and try launch the game because for running these kind of games which is high end we need the windows up to date as well as graphics card so if the windows is up to date you just you just need to move to the next step that is all about we have to go to graphics card so i'll be providing a link in the description to both nvidia as well as amd the NVIDIA users, they just have to go over here, select the respective product type, product series, product, operating system, etc. So over here, you have to select the GFOs, you have to select the respective uh, product type, which is according to your computer's configuration. Once you select this one, you have to try with the next one, select the respective one. So I'm on Windows 11, so I have to select Windows 11. You can do accordingly based upon your operating system. Then go for start search and you'll be getting the latest released versions over here. Now, as you can see, 536.40 is released one, so you can download this and install and restart the PC. If you're on the AMD, you have to go over here in the graphics, you have to select this one. Now, from here, go to submit and we'll be getting the versions over here. Like if you're on the Windows 11, you can download this one. If you're on Windows 10, you can download this one. Install, restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. Even after trying, still not working, you can also try with installing Microsoft Visual C++ so you can search for this one and I'll be providing link in the description so you don't have to worry. So you have to download this one if you're on X, X, X64 based system, if you're on an X86, you can download this one. Install, restart is a mandatory. Even after trying with all these things and still the issue is not working, the last and the least step is all about you can try with uninstalling and reinstalling it back for this. Just go over here in the game, right click and go to manage, uninstall the game. But keep in mind when you wanted to reinstall the game, you should not be installing back on the same local disk. You can change the position of local disk from C to D or any other thing. So this is what you have to do. So these are the possible workaround which you can try out when you're having an issue with War Thunder is having an issue and I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more these kind of videos. Bye bye. See you soon.